What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. My day is okay. Uh, today we're going to start, or today we're going to work on this Xbox 360. It has a couple of issues. The main issue being that the drive does not open. So we'll take a look at that. And the second issue is that the fan is kind of loud. So we might need to replace a thermal paste. Thankfully, no um, uh, red ring of death. So that's good. There we go. Nice. We have, I don't think I've ever had an Xbox that hasn't been opened. So good thing for me. As in, it hasn't been tampered with, so we might be able to put it back together without any issues. Now, as far as this here, I mean, geez. So that's in the trash. The next thing we're going to do is uh, start taking it apart. So we need to take this cover off also. And for this, we have some tabs that we need to pick at. So this being one of them here. I've got this, I remember I had, I bought this tool a long time ago, I don't know from where, and it's specifically made to, to uh, take off the covers on these. And with some luck, not break them, or not break the tabs, and I'll show you what tabs I'm talking about here in a second if you don't know. A lot of people tend to just pull them out, and that usually breaks them. And by tabs, I mean these here. These usually break off because people pry them out. And they just snap off so we have a good a good cover here with no broken tabs that's probably a first for me so now we need to take this off and oh son of a well i guess we'll have to use a donor i mean these these are so freaking old that it's they're so damn brittle you know but that's okay well, um, I'll go ahead and replace that. I already have a, um, like I said, I've got a bunch of donor parts. See, I mean, look, look how easy they snap, man. Holy shit. No wonder it was all falling apart. Okay, that goes into the trash. Well, that makes it so much easier now to take apart. I've got to be careful. I mean, look, it just completely snapped. And just by doing that, that how easily it snaps. So with this here, so you see how you have we have these here one two three four and five you use this to pry that open press down hear all that all that crack in there like that i mean look at that wow man i've never seen this before i've never seen a, a a cover fall apart like this before it's so freaking brittle man well it seems like this this one's not brittle. This one's kind of, this one's good, man. I was, I was going to try to break it off, but no, it's not breaking off. I mean, look at this. No wonder it's overheating. Look how much crap is in here. I mean, look at that. Poor thing isn't even freaking breathing, man. Now we need to take off the screws uh, to the, hold the cover in place, which are all the, all the screws with the flat head, all the silver screws. You have gold, gold screws. These hold the, um, these hold the motherboard onto the uh, the bottom bottom shield here, bottom cover, and these hold the uh, uh, the the heat sinks. Oh man, I need a shot of something to wake me up. All right, uh, let's take off the cover. Do one thing at a time here. So these should be long screws, and we have how many? Six. Yes, yeah, six of them, I believe. I can't believe how dirty this is. You know what probably happened too is that it overheated. And um, since it was running so hot, it broke down the plastic too. That I could see that happening. I think the screw is uh, broken. It's, it's slipping. Uh, so the post that it attaches to is probably effed up. And it's just spinning. We might need to force this off. Let me try to see if this one, let me check and see if this one comes off more easily. And I'm telling you guys, sorry. Wow. Look at that. How easily this breaks. Well, no need to 
waste my time with this. Goes into the trash. And these are the ones I broke off. You can see in here that the posts are broken off. Oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm breathing all that dust. I'm an idiot for cleaning it right in front of me. Scissors. I mean, the scissors, the pliers here. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards it being a heat issue. Um, it got too hot and started to bake the plastic. Let me uh, move, I mean, let me set this aside. So I could clean this mess. It's disgusting. Next, we're going to take out the actual drive itself. And to do that, just lift it. Actually, there's a there's a tape here that we need to remove. This aluminum tape here. Could probably use it again. Still tacky. It is okay. Probably serves as a um, as like a grounding strip maybe i don't know what the purpose is of that i'm gonna assume grounding extra protection disconnect this from here and here uh, come on holy crap okay there we go i'm gonna go ahead and take them off from here too because we're gonna clean this other board so I don't want anything in the way. There we go. Now we're gonna take this off. Take off the fans. They just um, just slip them out. There's two tabs here, and just like that. Like that and disconnect all right and look how dirty these are and those heat sinks look at that heat sink look at that no wonder it wasn't breathing man no wonder it was going so the fan was so loud at least it sounded loud I don't know if, if the fan has different speeds. I'm going to assume it does. I don't know. But that's just my guess. But it did sound loud. Louder than, than normal. Now we're going to take off the screws for the motherboard. This is a... T8 and this is a T10 by the way in case you were wondering Right, oh we need to take this one off too by the way But what's that? Seems to be some type of uh, water damage here. No, I'll show you guys in case it wasn't very clear. Okay, now I should be able to remove the board. go a little pad from the uh, ram fell off okay let's set this one aside too there you go it's I mean it's fairly clean I guess I mean I probably already took off all that all those dust bunnies are on my gloves now
Now for the fun part is taking off these X brackets, whatever they, you call them. And to save you, or to save me the embarrassment of taking forever to take these off, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, off camera, and then I'll be back and they'll be magically removed. And I'll be probably pissed off, but we'll see. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, it wasn't too bad. It took me about five minutes. These are the brackets. I'm not sure what that means, if anything. If it means something, let me know. I'll set them aside. And after the moment of truth, this one already fell out. Both of them fell out. How is our thermal paste? Oh man, our thermal paste is shot. Oh, not shot too badly. I've worked on other ones that it's completely like, it's completely baked. I mean, it's really hard. Got this and this. Look at these, man. Look, actually, look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Can you even see through it? We'll make sure to clean all that off. When we get there, let's start with the board, though. Let's start cleaning this one off. So let me get my big boy brush. I mean, even this makes it look so much better. That's gonna. This console is gonna thank me after I'm done with it. All right, now let's do the same with the thermal pads or the, uh, sorry, the uh, thermal paste. Because this is the part that scares me sometimes because um, all these small components are on the, uh, is this the CPU or the GPU? This is the, it looks like the CPU. This, then this is probably the GPU here. But either way, whichever, whichever uh, chip this is, gotta be extra careful that I don't remove any, uh, any of these uh, smaller chips. I'll come down to how much I want to remove. Looks clean, clean enough. I'm happy with that. Let me just see if I could take off some more of the residue on the actual chip itself on the top of it. Looks good, good enough. Like I said, now let's go onto this one. I am. I'm almost positive I'm not gonna, well, I already did it. I was gonna say, I'm almost positive I'm not gonna touch any of this here, but, cause it's going over some of the uh, components here. But I will for sure take all of this off here. Okay, we're done with the motherboard. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off camera because that's gonna take a while. And then we'll reassemble it. Uh, well, we put these, we'll put these back on, add some new thermal paste. Let me take this thermal paste off while we're here. Where's my thermal paste scraper? Here it is. Where'd it go? Okay, that one's good. All right, let's start with the thermal paste. I'm using Extreme Cool 360 thermal compound, whatever that means. I mean, I know what thermal compound is mean, means, I mean, but I meant to say, I don't know what 360 or compound 360 or any of that crap means.
It's like enough for just one Xbox, I guess. Must have been, must have been part of a kit that I bought for the uh, Red Ring of Death, probably. Some freaking fix scam. I honestly don't think anyone has been able to successfully resolve the Red Ring of Death. Because you can't really change out any of the... From what I understand, you can't change out the GPU or any of the main boards. And it's almost impossible to reball these. So, who knows? Definitely not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with any of that stuff. Way out of my league. Okay. Let's get an X bracket here. Give him a little bend just to uh, give him more tension. There we go. They're definitely easier to put on than they are to take off. I can guarantee you that. They make sure they're all engaged. And yes, they are. This one will be easier because I can actually rest it on the mat. Man, these gloves, everything gets stuck to them. So freaking annoying. Did I already bend this one? I think I did, but just in case. You son of a bitch. Keeps getting caught in my glove. Everything seems to be okay now. Feels nice and sturdy. Now let's piece it back together. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I worked on this unit. Not sure where I left off, but based on what I'm looking at, it seems like I need to install the fan and clean out that uh, optical drive. So let's do that next. Had to take a little break. I was busy with other things, so I had to step away for a, for a day or two. But we're back. So let's put the fan on. It's I went ahead and cleaned it. So it's clean now. Don't forget to connect it. All right, I think everything on this is ready to go. Let's put this on over here. And then we'll go ahead and start with the drive next. So let's start by taking this sticker off. You don't need that there anymore. All right, let's open this up.
so the drive was not opening and well i don't know if it's reading games or not since i could not open it but let's see what the problem could be i'm leaning towards the actual um, drive belt being either too loose or damaged that happens a lot with these drives where the belt just kind of stretches out too much or breaks so that's what I'm kind of leaning towards let's break this seal all right let's see what we have Have a dirty drive, that's for sure. Um, nothing obvious. Oh, I just saw something obvious. And that's this here. And it feels so brittle. All right, so we know we have a broken drive belt so that's going to be an easy one to replace i'll show you how to do that in a sec let me clean this out a bit this one's pretty dirty all right let's go to the belt next I shouldn't have done like that. To release this, you need a paper clip. And you're going to go through... Or which one is it here? I think it's... Uh, is it this one here? Up here? It's up here. So you go through here and then you push it through. And it should release like that. And this is where the belt goes, right here. Right here and right here. And I've got some belts, bands, what do you want to call them, that I've had from a while ago. So it goes on to here, and to here. Just do that. Now let's go ahead and loop this a bit. Um, let me clean the shaft here. Oh man. There we go. Get some lube on this. I shouldn't be doing that, but as long as I don't force it too much, it should be okay. Let me also loop the actual plastic gears here to make sure that they don't bind. Let me open this up again. And just a dab right here. Very, very little. You don't want too much because you don't want it to... Uh, uh, you don't want it to leak or drip onto any other components, so just enough to lube those gears so that way you're not like plast rubbing plastic with plastic. Okay, that feels good. 
All right, let's put this back together. Nice. Okay, let's put the drive in. Let's get the drive cables on there first. Let's put these on. All right, I think we have it assembled enough to where we could test it. Let's put the sport back on too. Oh, that's right. Let me clean this here. I don't know what's up with this. I mean, I don't think it 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 affected the uh, the actual module here. But let me clean it just to make sure nothing else. I don't know if that's um, water damage or just residue of some sort. It doesn't look rusty anywhere. I don't know. I don't think it's water damage. It's just some kind of buildup. Maybe, uh, I don't know, smoke. I mean, otherwise it's nice and clean everywhere else. Okay, put this back on. Got three screws here. Let's get them. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little quiet today. It's just um, clean a little bit of the weather. So I'm even more quiet than, I'm, than I usually am. So we'll see how how this one plays out, whether I just put music over it or, um, you know, keep the audio in, we'll see. But we're getting there. All right, now we got this here. Make sure the arrows are pointing up. And we have this one here. It's gonna go like this. Like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do a test. Okay, one-handed me again. Try to do this again with just one hand. I do need to have a second setup, um, just a second recording setup. So let's see if I can do this. All right, so let's put in the audio video. I mean, we'll move this over so that way I can it can reach. Okay, that one's in. I'm using a uh, I'm using an adapter, a Xbox to HDMI adapter. I'll link in I'll link that in the description for you folks. Now let's see. Uh, turn this on. Now power, 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 power. Where are you? I just dumped my whole trash can. I've got um three we use there ready to uh ready to be tested and hopefully repaired if there if there's anything wrong with them so that might be the next video we'll see and this goes in like this power Good. Anything over here? Yes. Uh, okay, that looks promising.
Okay, so let's continue. I'm glad that worked. So I did notice that this aluminum sticker, oops, okay, well, so much for that. We'll just take it off then. Can I do this? Yeah, we'll do that. Don't know what it's for. I still think it might be just for grounding, but, or it could be just to hold it in place. Don't know. We'll leave it there. Now let's get some covers on this. Here's the top cover, I already cleaned it. So this goes like this. Oops, no. What am I doing? It goes like this. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Uh, no. Let me put this back a little bit. Steam doesn't sit right in here. Let me see what's going on. I think it goes after. There we go. Okay. And let's get some screws in here. You use all of these right here. Bigger bit. And let's start. Next goes this lid, or this cover, I meant to say. And this one I got from another uh, Xbox. That was weird. Sweet. Okay, let's continue with the covers. This um, stupid flap is uh, a pain in the ass. There we go. There we go. I need to put the spring on there, and I'll do that once I uh, get a new front cover because the. Uh, you guys already saw that it's it's broken, so it's not gonna that spring won't attach. All right, folks. Well, looks like we have a working Xbox. So to recap what we did, I went ahead and cleaned it out, re added new solder paste, <laughs> solder paste, thermal paste, added new thermal paste, cleaned out the hard drive. I'm sorry, cleaned out the optical drive, lubed it, replaced the belt on the drive, and cleaned it. And I would say it looks so much better than what it did before, that's for sure. And there you go, all angles. Except for that, but. <laughs> Keeps on falling down. And And there you go, ready to go. All right, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one. Take care and stay safe.
Tu fixes un style. 